Hey, what's going on everyone? In this video, I'm going to be reviewing CyberGhost VPN for those that are looking to access geoblocked content on Netflix. And towards the end of the video, I'm even going to go ahead and play a little bit of Netflix in real time when connected to CyberGhost, just so you guys can get a kind of indication of reliability and also speeds. And quickly, just before I get stuck in, if you are looking to get started with CyberGhost, then don't forget to check out the massive discount link down below in the video description. Let's get started. So as you can see guys, I'm over here on my Netflix account and at the moment I'm not connected to any VPNs uh, whatsoever. So I'm actually located uh, in Australia so this means I miss out on thousands of TV shows and movies that can only be found in other locations around the world. And one of the best ways on how to, how to fix this is by using a VPN. Um, so the VPN that I'm going to be reviewing today um, specifically for those looking to access the different versions of Netflix is CyberGhost VPN. Um, so I've been using this specific provider for about a month now and I'll just be sharing with you guys my thoughts and experiences and just give you guys a walkthrough on how to use it and connect to different versions of Netflix. So as you can see, I've already gone ahead and opened up the uh, CyberGhost uh, desk desktop app. And one of the really good things about the desktop app is once you go ahead and connect, this means that all of your browsers, um, no matter which kind of platform that is, whether that's Safari, Google Chrome, Firefox, will all be connected to the, to the server that you are connecting. Um, so there's no need to download any third-party plugins and kind of just mess around um, with those things as well. So now that I have the app open, I can just go ahead and toggle on the drop-down menu and kind of pick a popular, a popular location. And right here we have a BBC iPlayer um, server and also a server specifically for Netflix uh, in the United States. And alternatively, I can also go ahead and click on these yellow um, arrows and this will go ahead and open up a few extra options and then I can go over to the left hand side and pick a service specifically for streaming and then I can go through various locations um, such as France, United States, Brazil, Germany and the list pretty much does go on. So just to keep it simple for this video, I'm going to go ahead and connect to a United States Netflix server. Um, so I just click on this drop down menu I've already selected that one, so now all I have to do is go ahead and connect. And I'll just give this a couple of moments um, to connect, and once it does establish that connection, um, this means my entire computer is connected, and CyberGhost will also go ahead and find me the fastest server uh, that they can find in America. So as you can see guys, I'm now connected, and the server location is in Los Angeles in the United States. So now that I've done that, I can go back to my Netflix account, just close that one and I'll go ahead and refresh the browser and this will then go ahead and load me onto the American based version of Netflix. So now that I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and search for a particular TV show that isn't available in my location and that one is called The Office uh, which is one of my personal favorites. So I'll just go ahead and search for that one. And as you can see guys, I now have access to The Office TV show plus additional um, TV shows and titles that aren't available in my location, such as Parks and Recreation, Better Call Saul, uh, New Girl, and the list pretty much um, keeps going on. So what I'm going to do now is actually go ahead and play a really small snippet of this TV show in real time, as I really want to show you guys a real world indication of what it's like to use CyberGhost um, VPN for accessing geoblocked content. And just to confirm, I'm still connected to CyberGhost, I can just click on this icon and as you can see guys, I'm still connected uh, to that same server. So I'll just go ahead and play this one now. And again, this will be in real time with no edits. And as you can see guys, that pretty much loaded instantly. So as you can see there guys, CyberGhost pretty much loaded instantly for accessing the American based version of Netflix. And if I'm going to be honest with you guys, my typical speeds with using CyberGhost are generally around the 15 second to 40 second mark for the actual VPN to go ahead and get connected to a server. However, in saying that once it does get connected, um, there's pretty much no issues with buffering or stuttering whatsoever. But in this test, they definitely are going a lot faster than usual. Okay guys, so what I'm going to do now is go ahead and actually connect to a UK based server as the British based version of Netflix actually has different TV shows um, from my location and even America as well. So I'll just go ahead and change that server. So I'll go over to CyberGhost. I've already disconnected um, from the server and I've already selected the location as the United Kingdom uh, that I would like to connect to. So again, all I have to do is go ahead and toggle this on 
And again, this will go ahead and connect me to the fastest server uh, that CyberGhost can find in the UK. So as you can see, we are now connected. So again, I'll go over to my Netflix account, just download that, minimize that one, go back to the home page. I'll go ahead and refresh the browser. And this will then go ahead and load me onto the UK based version of Netflix. And just to show you guys an example of this, I'll go ahead and search for the TV show Friends. And this was actually pulled off um, many versions of Netflix around the world, including Australia and the United States. However, you actually can still find it on Netflix and there's kind of no plans for this to be taken off uh, the British-based British based version of Netflix. So you definitely um, still can find it out there. Okay guys, so I'll go ahead and play a little bit of this TV show in real time, just like my previous test um, to give you guys an indication. And just to show you guys I'm still connected, I can click on this icon. And as you can see, I'm still connected to the same server in the United Kingdom. So I'll just go ahead and click on this one. And from my own experience, it typically does take around maybe 15 to 20 seconds for the UK based server. Okay guys, so that's my review of using CyberGhost for the different versions of Netflix. So from this test, they actually have performed extremely well, uh, but from my past experiences, they have been a little bit unreliable when it does come to speeds. So that definitely is something to keep in mind if you do decide to go with CyberGhost. And again, if you are looking to get started with them, don't forget to check out the massive discount link down below in the video description. And also guys, if you have any questions about CyberGhost, VPNs, accessing geoblocked content, then feel free to comment down below and I'll be more than happy to help you guys out. So as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.